Hello, hello, my fellow reptiles. This video may contain spoilers. Everybody dies. No, not really. So I just got back from the movie theaters about 30 minutes ago, and I saw the movie House at the End of the Street starring Jennifer Lawrence, and I'm going to be completely brutally honest with you. I only saw this movie because of Jennifer Lawrence. Yes. My, my, my actress, or I should say celebrity crush is Jennifer Lawrence. Um, no, she's not really a crush. I always hate the term crush, because crush sounds so high school, you know, childish. I really like her as a person, and I say this because if you've ever seen her um, in, in her interview, I'll post a link down below. She, she's been in interviews on t national television and TV and stuff for her films and stuff, and she's super funny. She's real, she's genuine, and she's not one of these actresses who thinks they have an answer to everything. If she doesn't know something, she'll actually say it on national t television, I don't know the answer to that, or I don't even know what you mean. Or, just watch the video I linked down below in the description, and you'll know exactly what I mean. Jennifer Lawrence is a freaking awesome actress. She does a stellar performance in all of the films I've seen her in so far, and that, and she's really attractive, so that always kind of helps. Um... But on a more serious note, the film was really, really good. I can't understand. I went to Rotten Tomatoes, and they, they rated this film terribly. And I don't like basing my reviews off of other people, but, you know, I wanted to see what other people were saying about the movie. And I can't understand why this movie was so heavily criticized. Like, I was reading some of the, 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 the criticisms of it, and they were just really bullcrap, you know, oh, this is just your typical thriller-slash-horror movie. I didn't think it was. I personally love horror movies. I like thrillers. I specifically like thrillers slash horror, and I thought this movie was really, really well done. One of my favorite things about this film was the cinematography. Um, this, I don't know, if, maybe maybe you guys will understand this. I don't know how many people watch horror movies, but or thrillers, but the cinematography in certain shots in the film really, really um, made it eerie. Um, there were shots where you couldn't tell if someone was actually watching someone else, you know, through the woods, or they were, and I love shots that make you, the, the viewer watching the film, not know if the, that's somebody watching someone else, or if it's just a standard, you know, shot with a camera. camera. Um, and and it, what it does to the viewers, it makes you think, well, is, is this girl being watched from the woods? Is this girl being watched by someone? And your mind creates all of these, there's someone watching her, there's someone stalking her. When in reality, it was just a really clever, well-done uh, shot. And the cinematography and how it's shot and moved and how the angle of how it's shot really puts in the idea of your mind starts interpreting if, if someone's watching someone. And if you can do that in a film, specifically a thriller and horror, I think it's really, 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 I'm tired, I'm sleepy. I think it's really, really um, well done if you can achieve that. For those of you who don't, haven't seen this 1979 Alien by Ridley Scott, that man was the creator of horror, in my opinion. Um, in terms of how cinematography is done and how camera camera positioning, that film Alien was so eerie and claustrophobic, and it was all based upon how the movie was shot. And if you can do it right, you can make a movie so much scarier based upon how you film it. Example: This movie. This is one of the scariest movies, in my opinion, that I've ever seen. Um, the Thing. I watched this 1982 version, John Carpenter's original Thing. Good lord. This movie made me scream. It's the only movie that I've ever actually screamed out loud. Um, if you haven't seen this movie, I know it looked kind of like a lame cover, but watch it. And I'm getting off topic. Anyway, House of the Industry really had some great cinematography shots, and it didn't necessarily scare me. I didn't feel like it was a horror movie. I felt as if it was more like a thriller. I don't know how many people have seen the original movie, Misery. Very old movie. That's what this movie felt like. It, it, in, not in terms of story, but in terms of how the suspense and how um, the end, specifically the end where you have the bad guy and you have good guys coming into the house and, you know, the bad guys hiding the person that they're trying to store away. And it just creates a whole lot of suspense, just like in the original Misery movie, when, um, if you haven't seen the movie Misery, you have probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah, if you've seen the film Misery, 
<laughs> you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It felt a lot like Misery, and that's why I'm, I'm referring back to that film. The acting was really w well done. I thought um, Jennifer Lawrence did a stellar performance, as usual. I haven't seen a movie that where she's done bad in yet. And in terms of the other actor, I don't even know his name. It was Ryan Jacobson was the character. Um, I were actually I related to this character a lot. Maybe that's another reason why I like this. Is I related to the character and the emotions that he was feeling in this film. The crazy thing is, though, is when I say I relate to him, I don't mean a crazy psychotic guy who stores people in his basements and is a psycho. That's not what I mean. I mean in the terms of of the things he's went through. Um, in terms of like physical abuse and stuff, it, it was he was a unique character, which I personally related to in the film. That may sound weird because he's a crazy, crazy dude. By the end of the film, although you don't know that until the last twenty or some minutes, which that's another twist plot um, in the film, is that the the main bad guy. Um, you're led to believe something that someone else is the main bad guy or I should say the the the, um, the killer or whatever, when in reality it's not. And if you can do that, and I'm one of these people when I watch watch a film, I usually always try to predict how the film's going to end, and I, I, you know, I try to predict the plot, and this was one of the films, these, this film, I couldn't do that. I didn't know how it was going to end, and when certain things happened, I was like, man, how is this movie going to end? How, how, is they, how are they going to resolve this? And... Uh, House of the End of the Street really did that uh, with me, personally. Um, again, the movie wasn't really scary. It was suspenseful, very suspenseful, just like the original Misery. But my really only beef with this... But my really only beef with this film is the end where the bad guy gets shot three times with a forty cal Glock, okay? And, and if you see the movie, you'll understand exactly what I mean. When you get pegged three shots into the chest... Okay, three shots with a 40 cal Glock, you're not going to be moving very much. And there's a, there's a scene in the movie after he's been shot where you're just kind of like, you know this is going to happen. I'm like, please don't do this. Please don't try to get up and, you know, attack this person after you've been shot three times with a 40 cal Glock right in your chest. It just... It, I know how guns work and I know I how bullet entry works and you wouldn't be able to move that easily. But nonetheless, besides that, I really enjoyed the film. I rarely, I would recommend it. It's rated PG-13, so if you're under 17, you should be able to go see it. But yeah, I am not ashamed to admit that I saw this purely for Jennifer Lawrence. I love her. I mean that genuinely. Like, if one day I will meet you, Jennifer Lawrence. If you're watching this video, Jennifer Lawrence, I will meet you and we will make cute little fuzzy babies. We'll have like this happy family and we'll just be so we'll be we'll be an awesome couple together. So thank you for watching. My name is Mr. Repsionals known as Daniel Solzbach. Peace to rip out.